I'm with Chorley Infernos. Yes. Yes. Um, after round one of the ENG Under 13s Youth Netball Premier League Northern Conference, Chorley, welcome to the league. Um, you come into this league after a successful qualifying competition a few weeks back. Um, whoever did the fixtures wasn't kind to you. They gave you two of the best teams in the country in Ellesmere Port and Oldham. Um, so let's start. I did the fixtures, by the way. <laughs> but Oldham, um, again, I didn't know what to expect. I've never seen you play before. I wasn't at the qualifying competition. So it was a bit of an, the unknown. I knew what to expect of Oldham. You gave them a great run for their money. I thought up until half time, you was well within the game. Um, you stuck to them within one goal for large periods up until half time. They, they, they pulled away a little bit, you know, about three or four points and built on that lead. Um, I think if it wasn't for kind of, if you were probably more clinical in, in the turnovers, it, you, the score would have been a lot nearer as well. But um, overall, what are your feelings on that game and, and how do you think you got on? When when you go into a game against Oldham, you know again they're, they're, the way they play the game is is very um, um, military like in terms of how they move the ball around the court. Um, do you go into it with a set of tactics to kind of disrupt that movement of play, um, or is it just kind of just whatever comes our way, we soak it up and we when we get the ball settle and try and get it down? How, how do you approach it? Is it is it a tactical thing or is it off the cuff? I mean, they they do like tactical things because. Like, when we go into the game, we'll, um... What's, what, do, what do you think the main focus is when you play Oldham? What, what is the thing you have to do the most in order to disrupt them? Turnovers. Yeah? Cause, and just like, because they, if they've got a turn, if we've got a turnover, yeah. then it might dis it'll disrupt their play a bit. Yeah. So, and also, yeah. like, not letting them, like, get to you and, like, push them around and stuff like that. Yeah. But overall, you are you happy? What, what did you do well in that game? Because again, you, you were you were matching them all the way up to half time. So what do you think you were doing really well as a team to kind of stay with them? Because a lot of teams I've seen can't stay with them for a quarter, let alone up until half time. Um, I think I just play as a team because we play very well, like as a team, and just do your normal things that we normally do. Because I did like how you were kind of. Um, gaining more space in your shot by doing that. How, how would you describe that shot? Where you step in, uh, you kind of walk uh, up to the net, then throw it in. Yeah. Um, what do you call that? Well, <laughs> what do you call you're that? Just your coach is laughing at me. You're just stepping in on the shot, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Taking yeah. A leap. That, that was good. Close you don't see it a lot. No. That was used no. very effectively, so well done. Um, Ellsman Port, so another tough game. They come fifth overall in, in our nationals last season. Um, got the win, a very tough game. Um, very close up until the very last seconds and, and, and the last, well, yeah, seconds, basically. Um, again, what did you kind of do better in that game that you didn't do in Oldham? Um, I think we had a few more turnovers in, in um, the Ellsman Pot game. And in terms of your match play, what do you think you've done better in terms of passing or shooting or temperament? Could have like got like not over passes, like getting closer to them, so we can just do short passes yeah. and just keep going. Cool. Um, got the win. Are you happy? Yeah. Um, first win on the board. To be honest, you've you've played two probably some some two of the league's most toughest teams, so it's a little bit more downhill now. Um, in in the next fixtures, um, what is your aim this season? What do you want to achieve? Um, well, obviously, we want to win the league, but it, like top four would be fine. So we're gonna say top four, yeah. yeah. Surely it's been a pleasure. Top four is the aim. When we come, when we do these interviews in April, we'll see if that comes to fruition. But well done, and we look forward to seeing you in round two. Thank you.